Welcome back to Living Leah. This is episode two. Who is Leah J? I'm a mom, entrepreneur, and a friend. Talking about mom, like I'm a mompreneur. I hope you all know what a mompreneur is. It's a mom slash entrepreneur, and I'm the mother of two beautiful, beautiful little girls. And no, I'm not just saying it because I'm a mom. They're actually beautiful, right? Yeah. So Taylor and Trent. Taylor is the oldest. She's 10. Then we have Trinity, who's 4. And yes, there is a 6-year age gap. Why? Because I was 19. Yes, a teenager when I had Taylor. And then I was, I can't count, wait. It's a 6-year, okay, whatever. But I was older when I had t uh, Trinity. And so, yeah, you'll meet them in like one of the other videos to follow or whatnot. But Taylor's my more introvert. And then you have Trinity, who's just out there and if you follow me on snapchat and on instagram you'll see trinity all of the time singing dancing and just wanting to be in front of the camera so i guess she might be my other money maker i don't know yet but then you have taylor who's always behind the scenes and she wants to get into fashion so hopefully i'll have some little entrepreneurs you know they'll have their business the llc's and whatnot soon so that's the whole mompreneur thing and then we have me being a true loving caring friend so i don't roll with too many chicks or whatnot but i have a close circle and yes we keep it close so i have my friends who i've known since way back to about day one and then i have my friends that who have um i found along this new journey of being an entrepreneur and whatnot um so they're part of the she elite crew or whatnot. So you've seen them. Well, you've seen them in the first episode. Uh, they in the life of a girl boss. So you've seen some of them, and you'll probably meet them throughout the whole journey of YouTube. This new journey that I'm on. Anyway, and then getting to business. Well, say for instance, this is business. Um, Living Leah is a part of the brand. I have Living Leah. I have Black Girls Do, and I have Fresh Daily, which is a web-based blog. So those are the three entities that I will always probably discuss here and there, plugging them in and whatnot. And so I became an entrepreneur, like, mompreneur. Let me back it up because I'm a mom first. I became an entrepreneur about two years ago when I decided that I needed a change. I needed to do something different. I was kind of lost in about, you know, when the world comes at you, life comes at you, you just kind of try to figure your way through stuff. So I had to take some me time, and along this journey of taking some me time, I said, hey, why not become a boss for myself? Like, why not? I'm so talented. Uh, I come from a family of entrepreneurs on my dad's side. He was into music. So why not dip and dabble into all of those things? And so that's what I decided to do. And so since we're discussing me, I asked the public, meaning you and friends and stuff, to you know, submit some questions. And so now I'm going to get my cell phone to the right of me. And we're going to answer some questions that they posted on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Kirby Carroll asked what made you start FDI? So FDI is Fresh Daily Inc., my web-based blog. And basically it features, you know, undiscovered talent in various forms, such as singers, entrepreneurs, uh, graphic designers, artists, rappers, and we do a lot of interviews with them. We also cover events and we feature a lot of life, well, we write a lot of lifestyle pieces as well as cover events. And that's the gist of what FDI is. Now, why did I start FDI? Uh, because I just believe that everyone deserves a platform to show their talent. And so that's why I started FBI, just for people to express themselves, for the public to see this unknown talent, and for you to be like, okay, I had this right in my neighborhood, or, you know, or I know this person, or just, you know, just showing support for whatever it may be that you're doing. So that's why I started FBI. Moving on, a uh, favorite non-working thing to do. Okay, so favorite non-working thing to do is chill with my daughters, Taylor and Trinity. Yes, they get on my nerves. I don't, you know, I'm not going to fake it. very transparent. But I love just being with them and just being in their presence. And I think it's vice versa. Well, I guess catch me two years from now when the oldest is a teenager. I guess she, she probably don't want to be bothering me then. But I'm going to embrace it for right now. And so just hanging with them, you know, of course relaxing and just being a mom or whatnot. So that's my favorite non-working thing to do. And then this question came from Phoenix, which is, um, she's a singer here in the DMV area. So in the DMV, it's District Bell in Virginia. She's an R&B soul singer, so make sure you check her out. She said, how do you do it all? Um, let's be real. I don't do it all, but somehow 
my faith and my drive allows me to, you know, give it 150% and to, to somehow manage and, you know, just prioritize all of the needs and all of the wants and just, you know, I know that family comes first before anything because at the end of the day when the lights are turned off, I have my daughters, I have my mom, I have my support system backing me. So those are my, well, they're my first priority and then the business is second. Of course, my faith as well motivates me, pushes pushes me to go forward and whatnot. So that's how I do it all. I don't know if I answer that to the best of my ability, but that's just how I view it. You know, keep pushing. The drive makes me push forward and all that good stuff. How do I remain on deadlines? So I've missed a couple of deadlines. Not a couple, I'm not gonna lie. I missed a lot of deadlines. And so I'm learning, it's a learning process. Everything's a process, so you must trust the process. And so I'm not good at writing things, so writing things down, and I do have a calendar, so I'm getting better at putting things in the calendar. But sometimes I just don't remain on deadline, and I kind of push things to the, to the side, the side, and whatnot, so I'm working on it. So I do not remain on deadline 50% of the time. So that's the real thing about that. So do you still work a nine to five? Yes, I do. I don't want to say unfortunately because I was going to say that, but I am blessed to have a 9 to 5, which helps supplement, well, provides income for me to uh, keep my business running. So, yes, I do work a 9 to 5. Did you save up a lot before you started your company? Honestly, no, I didn't. I stepped out on faith. I actually used my tax refund check and school college refund to start a started my LLC and to um, you know get these other companies and brands running. So I did not save a lot. I was just blessed with the funds to do so and I decided to invest in me. And then it says, I've noticed that you're a mommy. How do you manage to balance being a mother and an entrepreneur? Um, at times I don't manage and at times the balance is off, but somehow you just figure it out whatever works for you and your lifestyle, that's what you do. So I can't really give you an exact answer on that. So moving along, if you watch episode one, you should have. That was a day in life of a ball. So I celebrated the one year anniversary of Black Girls Do along with turning 29. So y'all, I'm close to the 30, 30. I'm getting old. And so I purchased a few items along the way because I couldn't really decide on what I wanted to wear for my birthday. So I'm gonna show you some things. Okay, so this is the actual dress, which came from Google. This is like a hot sort of red dress because uh, my signature is red along with the gray hair. And if you look at the mascot, she's in red and gray. So this was the dress that I wore for the um, We Take the City event right here. It's a size US 8 and UK 12. And I have a lot of, I have hips, butt, and thighs. So this fits like a glove. So that was blue. And this is the second outfit. It's a two piece. Let me turn it around. I didn't wear this. This was not my choice for that day. And here's the skirt. It ruches on the sides and it fits like a glove as well. I like my clothes to fit. So here this is. And then I went to the old oh, dependable of these songs. Okay, so this is my favorite bandage dress. This blush dress. When I say it fits, it hugs every curve. And ladies, be careful because you can't really use the bathroom in this dress. Like, it's a struggle. So if you just want, you know you want to look cute, don't drink too much because you're going to end up holding your urine for the rest of the night and you may be yourself. This is my favorite dress, which I wore Friday night, May 27th to March 7th. And along with this, I ordered some white pants. These are extremely too long, but these are high-waisted and they're too big. I love these and I'll be returning these though because I, I ordered the wrong side. And along with this came a white lace crop top, which I don't have a picture with me right now. I don't have it for you. So I apologize. And this right here, it's like a crossover dress. So this did not fit me at all. Like, well, let me not say that because I have a huge behind, but whatever, you know, natural. Um, it fits my butt but it doesn't fit right here because I'm smaller up top and so and then so I, it gave me like a church grandmother feel I don't know but it covers it's like it crosses over so it covers this part and it, you know so this was one of my favorites that I thought I was going to wear but it did fit right so you know those are the two well one two three four outfits that I wore so this was the winner this is my favorite dress so this is ASOS remember ASOS if you want this well, no, don't get it because I don't know. I want it. You know, I want it. 
Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you learned a little bit about Leah J, me. Make sure you check out my first episode, my vlog of the day in the life of a girl boss. You'll follow me on the journey of a birthday celebration and celebrating black girls do. Celebrating black women in action. Make sure you subscribe, give a thumbs up, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your uncle, tell your brother, tell your little sister, tell your big sister, tell everybody. Check out Living Leah and catch me back for my June favorites next week. And of course, in Leah We Trust.